Brian Emanuel Schatz, born October 20, 1972, is an American politician serving as the senior United States Senator from Hawaii since 2012. Schatz was appointed by Governor Neil Abercrombie to replace Senator Daniel Inouye after his death. Schatz served in the Hawaii House of Representatives from 1998 to 2006, where he represented the 25th Legislative District and was chairman of the Democratic Party of Hawaii from 2008 to 2010. He also worked as Chief Executive Officer of Helping Hands Hawaii, an Oahu non-profit social service agency, until he resigned to run for Lieutenant Governor of Hawaii in the 2010 Hawaii gubernatorial election as the running mate of Neil Abercrombie. He served as Lieutenant Governor until December 26, 2012, when Abercrombie appointed shots to serve out the rest of Daniel Inouye's U.S. Senate term after his death. Upon his swearing in, Schatz was the youngest U.S. Senator in the 112th Congress. Schatz won the 2014 special election to complete the remainder of Inouye's Senate term, and was re-elected in 2016 for a full six-year term. Early life Brian Schatz was born in Ann Arbor, Michigan, along with an identical twin brother, Steve. He is the son of Barbara Jane and Erwin Jacob Schatz, a cardiologist and native of St. Boniface, Manitoba. Schatz is Jewish. J. Streetpack, which supported him, called him a strong voice for the pro Israel, pro peace movement. And a supporter of the Iran nuclear agreement, Schatz's father was the first to complain about the ethics of the Tuskegee syphilis experiment, in a 1965 letter. The letter was ignored until the problem finally came to public attention in 1972. Erwin Schatz wrote that he was astounded that physicians allow patients with potentially fatal disease to remain untreated when effective therapy is available. Brian Schatz said that his father didn't talk about the letter, but did influence him to pursue the public good. When Schatz and his brother were two years old the family moved to Hawaii where Schatz later graduated from Punahou School. Schatz enrolled at Pomona College in Claremont, California. He spent a term studying in Kenya as part of the international training program. As a U.S. Senator, Schatz is one of Pomona's most high-profile alumni and was invited by Pomona to be the commencement speaker for the college's class of 2017. After graduating with a B.A. in philosophy, he returned to Hawaii, where he taught at Punahou before taking other jobs in the nonprofit sector. Schatz, for a short while was a member of the Green Party in his early life. <laughs> early career He became active in the community through his involvement in Youth for Environmental Services in the 1980s. He served as CEO of Helping Hands Hawaii and director of the Makiki Community Library and of the Center for a Sustainable Future. In March 2010, Schatz stepped down from Helping Hands to run for lieutenant governor. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii House of Representatives 1998 to 2006. Topic. Elections In 1998, Schatz, a Democrat, challenged the incumbent state representative of the 24th District of the Hawaii House of Representatives, Republican Sam Iona, and won, 53% to 47%. In the 2000 rematch, he was re-elected, 57% to 43%. In 2002, he ran in the newly redrawn 25th House District, and defeated Republican Bill Halls, 69% to 31%. In 2004, he defeated Republican Tracy Okubo 64% to 36%. The 25th district includes Makiki and Tantalus on Oahu. Topic: <laughs> Subsequent political career 2006 to 10. Topic: 2006 congressional election Schatz ran for Hawaii's 2nd Congressional District, vacated by Ed Case, who had decided to run for the U.S. Senate against incumbent Daniel Akaka. The Democratic primary featured 10 candidates, seven of whom served in the Hawaii legislature. 
Maisie Hirono, the lieutenant governor, was the only one who had held statewide office and thus enjoyed the most name recognition. She also raised more money than any other candidate in the race, mostly because of the endorsement of Emily's list, and gave her campaign a personal loan of $100,000. Still, she won with just 22% of the vote, just 845 votes ahead of State Senator Colleen Hanabusa. State Representative Schatz ranked sixth with 7% of the vote, behind Hirono and four state senators. Support for Obama Schatz, one of the earliest supporters of Barack Obama for president, founded a group with other Hawaii Democrats in December 2006 to urge Obama to run. Schatz said, For the last six years we've been governed by fear, fear of terrorists, fear of other countries, even fear of the other party. Everyone is governing by fear and Barack Obama changes all of that. He wants to govern the United States by hope." In 2008, Schatz worked as spokesman for Obama's campaign in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> State chairman In April 2008, he began running for the position of chairman of the Democratic Party of Hawaii, and won the job at the state convention the following month. During his tenure, the Democrats increased the number of active party members and delivered Obama's best performance of any state in the country. Hawaii native Obama won the state with 73% of the vote when just 55% of the state voted for Democratic nominee John Kerry in 2004. Schatz stepped down as party chairman on January 9, 2010. Topic. Lieutenant Governor 2010 election On January 10, 2010, Schatz announced his candidacy for the office of Lieutenant Governor of Hawaii. Schatz's campaign priorities included the creation of clean energy jobs, public education, and technological improvements in the public sector. He also declared his support for Hawaii House Bill 444, which would have allowed same-sex civil unions in Hawaii had it not been vetoed by term-limited Republican Governor Linda Lingle. A number of Hawaii labor unions endorsed shots for lieutenant governor in the Democratic primary election, held statewide on September 18, 2010. Schatz won the nomination with 34.8% of the vote, and thus became Abercrombie's running mate in the November general election. Tenure On December 6, 2010, Schatz was inaugurated as Hawaii's 11th lieutenant governor alongside Abercrombie, who had defeated incumbent lieutenant governor Duke Iona in the gubernatorial election. Hawaii Supreme Court Associate Justice James Duffy administered the oath of office at the Coronation Pavilion on the grounds of Iolani Palace. Equals equals U.S. Senate 2012 present equals equals. Topic: Appointment. Shortly before Senator Daniel Inouye died on December 17, 2012, Sen. Inouye dictated a letter to Governor Neil Abercrombie, asking that U.S. Representative Colleen Hanabusa be appointed to finish out his term. Hawaii law on interim appointments to the U.S. Senate requires the governor to choose from three candidates selected by the party of the previous officeholder. On December 26, 2012, the Hawaii Democratic Party nominated Schatz, Hanabusa, and Esther Kiaina, the deputy director of the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources. The same day, Abercrombie named Schatz to the job, despite Inouye's request. Later that night, Schatz accompanied President Barack Obama back to Washington, D.C. on Air Force One. On December 27 Schatz was sworn in as a senator by Vice President Joe Biden. Schatz's appointment to Inouye's seat on December 27, 2012, made him the senior senator from Hawaii Maisie Hirono, who had been elected that November to replace retiring Senator Daniel Akaka, took office just one week later on January 3, 2013. He is only the sixth person to represent Hawaii in the U.S. Senate, and the first non-Asian American to serve since Orrin E. Long. Topic. 
2014 election Schatz announced his intention to run for election in the special election to be held in 2014 for a two years term. In April 2013, Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa announced she would oppose Schatz in the primary. The core of the Schatz campaign was climate change and renewable energy, and fieldwork from the Super PAC Climate Hawks vote has been credited with possibly putting Schatz over the top in a close Democratic primary. Schatz defeated Hanabusa by 1,782 votes in a primary delayed in two precincts by Hurricane Azel. As expected in heavily Democratic Hawaii, Schatz went on to win the general election with about 70% of the vote. Topic: 2016 election. In 2016, Schatz ran for and easily won his first full six-year Senate term against only nominal opposition. According to New York Magazine, Schatz had a low profile but highly influential effect on the Democratic primary for the 2020 presidential election by pushing fellow Democrats to commit to progressive positions on issues such as health care, climate, college affordability, and social security. Topic. Committee assignments 115th Congress. Committee on Appropriations Subcommittee on Commerce, Justice, Science, and Related Agencies Subcommittee on Defense Subcommittee on Labor, Health and Human Services, and Education, and Related Agencies Subcommittee on Military Construction and Veterans Affairs, and Related Agencies Ranking Member Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing and Urban Development, and Related Agencies Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs Subcommittee on Financial Institutions and Consumer Protection Subcommittee on Housing, Transportation, and Community Development Subcommittee on National Security and International Trade and Finance Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation Subcommittee on Aviation Operations, Safety, and Security Subcommittee on Communications, Technology, Innovation, and the Internet Ranking Member Subcommittee on Oceans, Atmosphere, Fisheries, and Coast Guard Subcommittee on Space, Science and Competitiveness Committee on Indian Affairs Joint Select Committee on Budget and Appropriations Process Reform Select Committee on Ethics Topic. Leadership positions Chief Deputy Whip Co-Chair, Senate Climate Change Task Force Topic. Caucus memberships Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus Congressional Next Gen 911 Caucus Topic. Political positions According to New York Magazine, Schatz is a progressive but not a Sanders-style bomb thrower. He was characterized as a low-profile but a highly influential senator in pushing fellow Democrats to adopt progressive policy positions. Topic. Gun law As of 2010, the National Rifle Association has given Schatz a C rating for his mixed voting record regarding gun law. He participated in the Chris Murphy gun control filibuster in 2016. Schatz expressed disappointment, along with Maisie Hirono, when both the Democrat proposed Feinstein Amendment making the sale of firearms to individuals on the terrorist watchlist illegal and the Republican supported background check changes and gun sale alert system did not pass the Senate. He stated, more than 90% of Americans demand we take action on gun violence, but again Senate Republicans refuse to act. It's unacceptable. Right now, known terrorists are banned from getting on an airplane, but they are still allowed to buy military-style weapons. It is absolutely insane. After one of the most horrific mass shootings in our history, we saw people across the country courageously stand up against gun violence and hatred. When will Republicans in Congress finally do the same? In response to the 2017 Las Vegas shooting Schatz stated, we can do more than lower the flag to half-mast. 
We can take a stand against gun violence by passing common sense gun safety laws. Topic: <laughs> Social. Schatz supports same-sex marriage. He sponsored legislation in 2015 to allow married gay couples to have equal access to the veterans' benefits and social security they have earned. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Privacy rights. In one of his first votes in the US Senate, he voted against renewing the FISA Amendments Act Reauthorization Act of 2012. On April 17, 2013, he voted to expand background checks for gun purchases. Schatz voted for the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act, a bill opposed by many civil liberties groups. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environment. In March 2014, Schatz was a lead organizer of an overnight talkathon devoted to discussing climate change. The gathering of over two dozen Senate Democrats took place on the Senate floor. The League of Conservation Voters supported the talkathon and ran campaign ads on Schatz's behalf. Topic: <inaudible> Economy. <inaudible> to encourage tourism in West Hawaii, Schatz proposed that customs begin in Japan so that planes can arrive in West Hawaii as domestic flights. Russia Schatz spearheaded a non-binding resolution in July 2018, "...warning President Trump not to let the Russian government question diplomats and other officials." The resolution states the United States, "...should refuse to make available any current or former diplomat, civil servant, political appointee, law enforcement official or member of the armed forces of the United States for questioning by the government of Vladimir Putin." It passed 98-0. <laughs> Health care Schatz supports Senator Bernie Sanders' single-payer proposal, but also introduced his own proposal which would allow states to expand Medicaid into a universal system. Personal life Schatz is married to Linda Kwok Kai Yun. They have two children. Brian's identical twin brother, Steve, runs the Hawaii Department of Education's Office of Strategic Reform. Electoral history Schatz was elected in a separate primary but on a joint ticket in the general election with Neil Abercrombie, who was running for governor. 